Hey everybody, I'm Joe with Crypto Newbies. Today I'm going to be your surf guard life coach. <laughs> I'm going to be your life coach, your surf guard. Today I'm going to be your lifeguard and your surf coach and show you how surfing and crypto investing are alike and how you and I can catch legendary double overhead, I'm talking North Shore of Oahu kind of waves without any risk. But first, this channel is not investment advice. We have no backdoor insider juicy information. All this is, is education and entertainment purposes. Hopefully you feel like you pulled out some legendary nuggets from today so that you can share with your friends and family. It all began in 2001. I moved to Southern California from a little hometown of Corbett, Oregon. And my roommate was a Huntington Beach lifeguard. And he went home on the weekends and he saved a bunch of tourist lives. Whenever they thought they were pro surfers or good swimmers, Mike would go and rescue them. And so Mike comes up to me and he says, Joe bro, Joe bro, you're from Oregon, it rains. Uh, you guys got flannel, you got coffee, kombucha, granola, you're in SoCal, you're a bro-cal now, it's time to learn surf and sun. And I said, Mike, I'm in, I want that legendary advice, I want to fit in, but I'm not going to be able to get much sun because I am Scandinavian and I burn a lot. So he said, don't worry about that, you can wear a wetsuit in SPF 5000. So he said, I'm going to teach you how to surf. The next day he takes me down to Huntington Beach, California, and there I am sitting looking at these guys out on the water and they're catching all these barrels are just just getting totally pitted and I'm like I want to know how to do that and so he said Joe bro here's a wetsuit here's your surf surfboard here's your leash and Joe listen up eyes on me <laughs> he said Joe bro the most important information you're new to this water you need to know when the waves here don't be here I said bro let me see your hands again waves here don't be here what does that mean how do I do it and how do I not do it and so he said, Joe, bro, the wave's going to be lifting and curling like this, and you're going to want to catch it, but you're too late. When it's lifting like that, you need to get under it. He said, Joe, bro, that's called a duck dive that you need to do. You need to get under it. You push the tip of the board down, and you get behind the wave. So I said, Mike, thanks for the legendary advice. I'm going to give it a try. So for the next 15, 20 minutes, maybe two hours, I don't remember. It was chaos. I figured out how to duck dive and get behind the waves. I went under and I was like, whoa, man, I'm like a pro surfer. I can get behind the waves. I'm legendary. You got to understand, I'm from Oregon. The water is super cold. Every time I'm out there, I think whales, sharks, Nemo's going to be nibbling on my toes. I'm out past the surf for the first time in my life, and I am beyond petrified. So the fact that I got out there and I was still alive and Mike was next to me, I felt pretty safe. I was afraid of the waves, I was afraid of the unknown, I was afraid of all the creatures out in the water. And in the same way, you might be thinking, Joe, what does this have to do with crypto investing? Everything. Because when you sit out there and you hear about cryptocurrency and you're hearing about prices going up and down, those are waves. So today I'm gonna to give you four legendary epic tips on what to do to be out in the water, to be safe, to not be afraid, so that you and I can make educated decisions, we can share with our friends, family, our two-year-old niece and our 100-year-old nana. Tip number one, you and I need to answer the why. Why should we invest in a cryptocurrency? For me, I'll tell you why. <laughs> I was at my office minding my own business and a couple of my employees over a matter of a few weeks started coming into my office during my lunch breaks and they started talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, prices, moon Lambos, rockets, hash rate, decentralization, digital gold. And I started getting very curious and I was like, guys, clearly you know what you're talking about. Your jargon is coming at me so fast. I want in, I want in. It felt like insider secrets and I wanted in. So I went home that day and I sat down with my wife and I said, babe, you're gorgeous, you're hot, you're, you're so smart, you're genius. Let's invest into crypto, let's do it now. She said, hold on, I have no idea what you're talking about. So we did a deep, deep dive. We Googled it up, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, hash rate, decentralization, digital gold, all these things. We took the red pill and the blue pill, threw it together, it became the orange pill, and we were hooked. So later that week, I said, guys, we've done some research. My wife and I are feeling really good about this. Um, I'm in. How do I do it? So for me, that was how I got into it. That was the why I got into it. Um, for you, maybe you've got friends who've been showing you some silly NFTs and some GIFs and some JPEGs, and you're like, that isn't worth $100,000. That shouldn't be worth a Lambo. Whatever reason it is, Figure out the why. Why do you want to get in? Is it for investing? Is it for collecting? Do you like technology? Do you like where these, where these technologies are going? That's fine. Just know the why before you get in. Tip number two, make a plan. Just like any surfer catching a wave, they've got to know how long they're going to ride it out for, what their technique is, the type of wave, the amount of water coming. 
Figure out how long you wanna be in the water, how long you wanna catch a wave and ride it. In the same way, when you're investing in cryptocurrency, set a time limit for yourself. Hey, I wanna invest in this and I wanna be in it for the long term, that's fine. Uh, 10, 20 years, 15 years, whatever. We're all discovering this together. Maybe it's for a week or two or a couple of days. Maybe you invest in a project and you're the guy that likes flipping NFTs like baseball cards and basketball cards. That's totally fine. Whatever it is, set a plan for how long you wanna be in this space, how long you wanna invest into whatever cryptocurrency and NFT project that you have. The second part of that plan is know how much you wanna invest. When I first got in five years ago, I started putting in money into Bitcoin and Ethereum and and as, as the price would go down, I would wanna pull my money out. Or if the price was going up, I'm thinking, where else can I, can I steal from the kid's uh, college fund? Or can I take money out on the credit card? Set a plan for how much money you wanna put in. A little bonus tip, I would recommend if you have a loved one that you share a bank account with, a spouse, a friend, try to have an accountability partner in a way. I know that sounds kinda of silly, but if you have someone that you can run your investment ideas by, I think that'll help you and I make less emotional decisions, make more educated decisions. If we're not able to explain what the project is or, or what it's trying to accomplish or anything like that, we probably shouldn't be investing in it. Tip number three, know the risk. Just like you're investing in a startup, uh, a GoFundMe or Uncle Rico's pyramid scheme selling Tupperware, know the risk associated with, with new businesses and startups that 80 to 90% of most businesses will fail probably in the first year or two. So know that cryptocurrency projects, NFT projects, a lot of them are in the startup phase. They're in the initial concept phase, in the proof of concept phase. So knowing that there's a high risk in many of these projects, um, but at the same time, don't let people demonize cryptocurrency for you. A lot of people just don't know anything about it. And so they, they demonize what they don't understand. Number four, patience. Patience is something I wish I would have learned about five years when I first got into cryptocurrency. Every time I would see a news article or a, a video talking about a cryptocurrency project that was gonna pump, I would hurry up and rush into it, and sure enough, when I, when I heard about it in the news, it would crash the next day. It, it would go up and it would crash the next day. I was always too late. I kept buying the news. We don't buy the news. Hope, I hope these four tips make sense. I hope they help you and I make more educated decisions. The last thing we wanna do is, is read a news article, watch a video, see a price of a cryptocurrency or NFT start to get up and think that we can paddle into it. If we can be patient, if we can know the risk, if we can have a plan, if we can have a, a somebody to keep us accountable or run our ideas by, I think we're gonna make way better decisions in the long run. Please let me know in the comments down below if any of these four tips have helped you or maybe there's some other tips you'd like to share with other crypto newbies. What are some mistakes that you've made? What are some things that you wish you had known before you got in? I've got a link to part two of this video down in the comments section below and I'm gonna show you how you and I can practice catching crypto waves with no money whatsoever. Even your kids can practice this. So let's all get surfing. Check out the next video down below. Give me a comment, give me feedback. If you like and subscribe, if this was helpful, let me know. If there's something else I can do better, I'm all ears, man. I'm all ears. I got huge ears. Let's do this. Let's catch some waves.